While the technicals of the market remain strong, it's the fundamentals that seem to be deteriorating under the surface. Stay tuned as we go over a chart of one of the leading indicator indexes, along with some news stories that continue to point towards a global slowdown. It was a quiet week in the markets. The Dow Jones was the only one negative, and it was only down about 0.05, and the NASDAQ led the way up a little bit over a half a percent. And now the NASDAQ is leading the way for the year, up over 20%. Also, foreign markets and emerging markets were relatively flat last week, with foreign markets up about 0.3, and emerging markets down just a little bit. And year-to-date, foreign and emerging markets both up over 13%. The chart that we're looking at today is of the semiconductor index. And I mentioned during the returns that the NASDAQ is leading the way for the U.S. markets so far for the year up over 20%. And this semiconductor index is one of the leading sectors inside the NASDAQ. I've gone over the semiconductors a couple times before, but we look at the semiconductors as one of the leading indicators of where the U.S. economy and the U.S. markets could be going moving forward. Now, if you look at the chart and the blue line, you'll see that two weeks ago, the semiconductor index broke out above the blue line. And last week, it actually back tested back down to this level, but continued on higher. So we're looking at this index to see if it continues, it could lead the technology sector and ultimately the US markets towards those all time highs. Last week's news began with the IMF on Tuesday cutting their outlook for global growth in 2019 from 3.5% down to 3.3%. And they cited two main reasons for this, one being a sharp drop-off in global trade and the next being a slowdown in global manufacturing. Now they also noted that they're starting to become concerned with the level of debt that U.S. companies are starting to accumulate. And they said if interest rates were to rise sharply, all of this extra leverage debt could lead to a severe downturn when the economies start to slow. Also in the news last week was the JP Morgan FX Volatility Index, which tracks the volatility of the US dollar, approached almost all time lows. And the last three times that it was this low was in 1996, 2007, and 2014. And each of these times, led to a drastic move from the US dollar. In 1996, the dollar rallied 15%. In 2007, the dollar dropped 11%. And in 2014, the dollar rallied 26%. So what this index is suggesting is that the period of calm for the US dollar could be getting close to being over. And if the dollar breaks one way or another, the move should be significant. And lastly, over the weekend, Tiger Woods won his fifth Masters Tournament and his first major since 2008. Now, we usually don't cover sports in our weekly market video, but this could be some great news for a struggling golf industry, along with a retail sector that was in dire need of some positive news. This week, all eyes are going to be on earnings as we have 10% of the S&P 500 reporting their first quarter's earnings. Now, expectations for this earnings season are pretty low, so some good numbers and positive outlooks could be just what this market needs to break those all-time highs. Thanks for watching our video as we strive to give you everything you need to know about the markets in five minutes or less. If you're watching on Facebook, please like and share our video, and if you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to our channel.